Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So my name is Sophie and I create videos around motherhood, lifestyle and fitness. So if you are new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. So today I am comparing the Silicone Hacker and the brand new Elvit Curve. So this video is perfect for if you are wanting to breastfeed, if you are already breastfeeding or if you just genuinely want more information on how both of these work. So we have the LV Curve and the Silicone Original Hacker. Size difference, the LV Curve is shorter, width difference, it is thinner and then from the front Yes, it's wider, but it's a lot more hidden and it's perfectly shaped to the size of your breasts, whereas this is nothing like the shape of your breasts. So we'll start off by talking about the original silicone hacker. So this is an old, old, old style breast pump. It's been around for absolutely years. And what it does is you attach it to your breast and it fills with milk. So it has a small suction on it when you're either feeding off one or one's really full you can pop it on and it'll slightly suck a bit of milk out so a lot of people have these i bought this when i first started my breastfeeding journey and i used it loads and loads and loads i used it on the opposite boob to what i was feeding on and they're good but they're not great so when you put on one of these you fold back the silicone and then say this is your boob you pop it onto your boob and then fold round and it will just suck onto your boob like that and then it will fill with milk but then it's obviously going to be sat like this so you've got no bra on so obviously all of this is out on show and when you are then feeding a baby who will be across here they can kick it off they can knock it off and also when it starts to get really full so you can imagine that milk's just getting in and in and in and as it fills up it will literally then lose its suction and just drop off so even though it's a kind of great little object it's also not that great it's not very convenient you know you have to use it when you know you're not going to have any visitors you know you've got no one in the house you're not really bothered about being sat naked and as the baby gets older and they start to move a lot more it's really really hard to use so it's kind of only a good thing to use maybe on a night time when you know they're not really moving a lot because they're asleep when you're doing those sleepy night feeds and yeah so that's the silicone hacker a lot of people sell them it's not a one branded thing they are sold everywhere amazon ebay loads of different companies and lastly it's also quite hard to get the suction right so you will squeeze it in slightly when you're putting the suction on and sometimes it's just far too like squashed and it's just too much suction and the only way to release that is to actually fully take it off and start again but then obviously if it's got milk in it it can start to get heavy and then it can just be hard to get the suction right but saying that I've used it and it worked well for me but then I was introduced to the brand new LV curve so this is exactly the same sort of concept you are using it as a natural suction and you are collecting milk in here so it's great for when feeding from the opposite side or it's great for if you've got a little bit of engorgement and you need to just take a little bit of pressure off but the best thing about the LV curve is it is nice and flat and nice and compact so it is a wear a wearable silicone breast pump and it does exactly the same job as this but rather than this being sat hanging off your boob this just sits into your bra and what we do is we'll pop it in and then we press it in here like this and then that creates the suction and then there is also a little valve on the top here which you can release a little bit of air out if the suction's too much and obviously to just take it off. So this is perfect because it fits straight in your bra. So that is it in. Can't tell too much. You can definitely cover it up with a cardigan. Can't tell at all. And then all we have to do is press it in for the suction 
and it will sit and suck so i'm just going to do a little bit more talking while it's in there i can't promise there's going to be anything in there because my boobs aren't that full but i just kind of want to show you how it can be used by doing loads of other different things so using a silicone breast pump which is hands-free is great for things like if you have engorgement and you just need to release a little bit of pressure off whether it's before you're feeding your baby or after you fed the baby or during feeding the baby and you're on a different boob and also it's great for collecting milk so i actually got most of my freezer stash from using this silicone hacker but i didn't hear about this till i was about i think it came out when i was about 15 weeks into my feeding journey so I didn't need it as much but I do still use it probably five six times a week it's a great way to collect milk and stack up that freezer stash so what I would do is I would wear this three or four times a day if you're maybe doing 10 feeds a day maybe five, yeah three or four times a day on average of 10 feeds and pop it into the fridge it's cool pour it into a bag two hours later use it again pop it into the fridge pop that same milk into the same bag as long as both milks are cooled and then after sort of like 24 to 48 hours I would then pop that stash into the freezer. It's just so much more convenient than the the original silicone hacker and that is just because you can wear it in your bra you can wear it anywhere you can wear it when you're driving you can wear it when you're feeding you can wear it when you're talking to somebody you can wear it when you're working it's great if you have full boobs and you want to take some pressure off whereas the original silicone hacker you can't really walk around your house with that on unfortunately as it could just easily drop off when it's full of milk it has the valve control suction on the top of it unlike original silicone hacker and it's obviously really really discreet as well so i can't believe how long it's taken for someone to even come up with this idea i don't i actually don't know i haven't done my research i don't know if any other company does this but elve have literally created some of the best breast pumps and breast not objects what i'm thinking of it's products that's the one the best breast products around and some of the best products on the market i use the lv pump as well but this lv curve silicone hacker is hands down one of the best things that you can have if you are a breastfeeding mum and it's just really easy and convenient to manage an oversupply it's really good to ma use if just to manage your supply on a day-to-day -day basis so as i was saying before i made most of my freezer stash with the original silicone hacker and if i'd have had this one when i first started my breastfeeding journey i would have i think twice the amount in my freezer stash but i did just find it really hard to be sat feeding like say he was on here and then i'd have this attached to my boob like you can see how much it hangs off this is the lv curve sat in here now and then this is a silicone hacker so you can see how much it hangs off compared to this this is sat in my bra nice and secure and then this is just literally hung off so it's not very discreet at all you can't really walk around the house with it in whereas if i was feeding him say from this breast and i had this in it was just really inconvenient i used to have to take it on and put it off again all the time sometimes i'd have to take it off pour it out and then put it back on on again whereas the lv curve is just so convenient and it just sits in your bra and honestly guys it is just the best ever so i'm just going to quickly take it out and show you so like i said i don't think it will have much milk in it because it's not actually that full but there is literally a tiny tiny bit you can literally just see it sat there so it holds up to four ounces which is quite a lot especially for just a silicone like hands-free expression and also i have been breastfeeding now for 24 weeks and your milk supply really really levels out around sort of like 15 to 16 weeks or mine did anyway so i don't have like a huge oversupply anymore but when i was in my early days of my breastfeeding journey my booze was rock hard all the time so using the hacker did really help so this would have been like literally a hundred times more helpful than this so i am rating the lv curve a 10 out of 10 and i'm rating the silicone hacker a 5 out of 10 and that's because 
I have used this so I can't sit here and say it's the worst invention ever because it isn't and I used it and it really helped me out and I told loads of people to get one but then this is literally life changing. So if you are wanting to embark on a breastfeeding journey or if you, you're into the early days of your breastfeeding journey then I think this is one of the best purchases you could ever make. I actually think it's a better purchase than a breast pump because you don't have to sit and actually pump even though the LV breast pump you don't have to sit and actually pump it just helps you to create a freezer stash straight away by just having the baby on one boob and then popping this in your bra on the other so I'm going to pop up the pros and cons and you can see the comparisons of the two even though I've just spoke through them anyway but just to add them to the end of the video and just remind you all why the LV curve is so much more the future than the old original silicone hacker. So thank you so much for watching my video, please give me a good thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video.